In this video, I'm going to discuss the MateSmart Web Work Request Module. This module is an add-on to the main MateSmart Enterprise program. It's particularly useful for adding repair tickets, work requests, work orders, downtime, as well as for closing out preventive maintenance. Additionally, it has work order template capability. You can also link inventory parts to work orders, preventive maintenance, or downtime records. This module is normally going to be used in MateSmart applications where there are many users that need an easy way to get into the program through a pure web link and not have to buy a full MateSmart Enterprise license. Applications such as large hospitals, universities and schools, and those types of things are perfect for the web work request module. But really anywhere where you have a lot of users who don't really need the full capability of the enterprise program, but do need a way to, in most cases, add a repair ticket. Okay, so let's go ahead and log in. Now this module is linked to the main MateSmart SQL Server database that the MateSmart Enterprise program is linked to. I logged in as an administrator. As such, I have all these menus. In many cases, you're going to give access through this module to MateSmart to your requesters. Again, these are people that aren't maintenance personnel but do need a way to submit some sort of repair ticket into the system. All right, let's start with work orders. If I click right on the work orders menu, I'll get the work order data grid. This is going to list all of my work orders within a certain date range. The capabilities of each of these screens is fairly similar. For example, if I want to add a new work order, I'll click here. If I'd like to delete an existing work order, I'll select the item or items and click the delete button and that will remove one or more work orders. Now you'll need to have delete permissions in the program in order to do this. Since I'm logged in as an administrator, I have the capability to do anything in this session. We can also export the entire data grid to Excel. There's powerful search capability on each of these screens as well. Perhaps I just want to look at all the actives. That loads all the actives. Okay, I can also search for text terms. Alright, so let's go ahead and add a work order. There's a couple ways to do that. I can either click on this menu, or I can come down here and click right on this. I'll pick a date assigned, a date due, estimated labor, and so on. These are essentially the same fields that you'll find in the MateSmart Enterprise program. There's still only two required fields, equipment and task. Now when we select an equipment or a task, the program is going to bring up a lookup dialog screen we can use a search. I'll type in oil. See what I get. Okay, brings up every instance of oil. Same thing with the equipment. I could populate more of these fields. I can put in my comments, text details, and I can also add unlimited file attachments. In this case, I'm going to keep it simple. Now I realize the screen's kind of squished down. I have it reduced in size just for the purposes of this training video. Okay, I'll click Save, and that adds that work order to the system. Now all these columns also sort ascending or descending. You'll notice here's the work order I just added. Okay, let's look at the Enterprise program for a moment. I'm going to drag it over here where we can see it. 
And I had this open before I made any changes on the Web Work Request Module. So when I right click to refresh this screen, it's probably going to get rid of 279 and 280, the two I deleted, and then replace 279 with the one I just created, which should show active. So I'll refresh that, and sure enough, there is my record. Okay. All right, back to the work requester. There are some other things we can do here. We can set some defaults. These are the same defaults you can set from the main MateSmart Enterprise program. We can tell the work requester how to use parts. And then we can also set how we want the equipment drop down to filter. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on those. To create a work request, click on Add Work Request. Basically the same process. Pick an equipment, pick a task, put in some comments, priority is optional, and save it. Now, if you're logged in as a requester, this will be the only button you'll have available. So you'll be able to submit a work request, or repair ticket as it's sometimes called. It'll also link your user ID to that work request. That way the administrator, when they look at the work order data grid, they'll know who submitted it. Additionally, the work request has the same filtering capability. Okay, let's look at preventive maintenance. Under preventive maintenance, we now have the ability to close out our PMs. Now this is going to correspond to our PM screen, the gray oil can, in the main MateSmart Enterprise program. Okay, I see I have some lates here. I can come in and select several of them. I could have filtered by using my filter. And I click on my complete drop down arrow. I can put in how many hours it took, one and a half. I'll say to go ahead and use the due date. If I wanted to use a date, I could put a date in here. And when I'm ready to close it, I'll click on the green checkbox. And that closed those out. Now I'll go ahead and refresh the main Mate Smart Enterprise program. And we'll see that indeed they are closed out. They're no longer late. Okay, so this gives your maintenance personnel a way to close out PMs pretty easily out on the plant floor through a web application. Those are the main parts of the program that are going to be used. We also have a downtime section that's pretty useful as well. Uh, this is for submitting downtime. Typically these are going to be unexpected equipment failures. Works about the same way. We can add a downtime record. There are a few options. What if we want to edit a record? What if we want to change a work order, for example, or a downtime record? Okay, so the way you edit a record is by clicking on this icon here. It's a pencil writing on a piece of paper, I believe. So if I click on that, I can make my changes and then save the record or cancel it. Let's go back and do a work order. It's fairly common to edit a work order. For example, you often have to close them. So let's go ahead and close this work order. We'll go ahead and we'll pick the status. Done. And we can go ahead and put in the date and time completed. And then we'll save it and it'll be closed. Okay. The parts usage section gives you a way to link parts to either a downtime a work order, a PM, or just any general equipment item. From this screen we pick a part, 
quantity, when it was used, who used it, cost center, and the account. And then we could link that to a particular work order. Okay, so this new version of the MainSmart Web Work Request Module has quite a bit of capability. One last thing I didn't touch on was the work order templates. Now work order templates are essentially boilerplate copies of existing work orders. And these can be used to create new identical work orders. So here are templates that we currently have in the system. Again, these can have file attachments. They can have parts linked to them. If they do have parts linked to them, what happens when you activate a work order template, the program will create a new work order and it will link those parts to the work order. Okay, so if we click on this red wrench, that will immediately create a new work order from that template. And there we have it. So that is the Main Smart Web Work Request Module. Thank you for watching.